Hey everyone! I'm so excited. I will be doing a green, natural, smoky eye look. I haven't decided what I'll call it yet. I just wanted to thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate the support and my subscribers that I already have. Oh, I love you guys. If you like this video and you want to continue seeing videos like this, then give this video a thumbs up. Hey guys, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I start by moisturizing my face and my under eyes with my Garnier products that I use, I think I've used in almost all of my videos. And I also prime my face to get that nice, good like base for my foundation with my Maybelline Master Prime Primer. I love that stuff. It really does the job very well. And then I go in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This is awesome for blending out foundations. And in this first part of the video, I'm just going to be showing you the products that I use on my face. Um, that way I can go ahead and jump into the eye tutorial. Here's one of my favorite drugstore foundations. This is by CoverGirl. It's a 3-in-1. And this is in the shade Golden Tan. And then also, of course, my Holy Grail Concealer. This is in the color Light Warm by Urban Decay in the Naked Skin line. And then I go in with my NYX Contour and Highlight Palette and I take that banana shade and I like to um, set my under eyes and also my T-zone with that just to brighten it. And then I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me and Matte and Poreless Powder in True Beige, I believe that is, in number 222. Really good stuff. Helps to keep me matte during the day. Now to jump into the eye tutorial, I go in with my Urban Decay Eye Primer in Eden and just start putting that all over the lid and of course I had to use my Avent Pop palette by NYX this is one of my favorite palettes by them and I'm just gonna set that with the lightest color in the palette it's pretty matte so it gives it that nice good base for your darker shadows so it will um, pop on those eyelids and yeah I just put that all over the lids And now we're going to take one of my favorite shades in the palette. It's this like um, orange soda looking color and I, I really like to use this as a transition shade. I just think it makes majority of the colors look very, very nice. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a bit so you can see exactly what I'm doing and you know just building that color up in the crease. Now I'm going to take my NYX white eyeshadow base and pop that all over the lid. And this is just going to be a very, very good tacky base so that dark color just absolutely pops and makes your eyeshadow just look even brighter than it already will be. And I'm going to be taking this almost emerald green shimmery eyeshadow and just putting that almost to the crease. It's almost like I'm doing like a half moon on my eyelid and I just... I don't know, I just felt like going for this look and I just went with it. And I think it turned out um, pretty nice. I ended up liking it in the end. I also want to add that going back in with your transition color um, using a dark shade just helps blend it very, very nicely. And I can't stress enough, going back and forth blending between those two colors is very important. It just seems to fade it very, very nicely and make the look more, I would say, crisp and clean. bright uh, shimmery color almost like a very very light pink color I just think it looks very good on the inner corner and I love the pigmentation on this color and I'm just popping that on my inner corners and the color we set our eyes with in the beginning I am putting that on our brow bone just to give it a little highlight So 
I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. If anyone else would like a request for that video, I can do it. I don't know why I showed the back of this palette. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Palette in Caramel Toffee. The name is on the front. And I decided to use the Super Sizer Fibers Mascara by CoverGirl, and it's in the color brown. I think this mascara is okay. It's a little too wet of a formula for me, but I figured, and I also <laughs> picked up the wrong color in it, so I figured the brown may complement the green, so I just went ahead and tried it in this tutorial. Really feel like I use a lot of Maybelline products, well also because Maybelline is pretty amazing, but I should do a one brand video. Let me know if you guys would like to see one of those. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Medium Pink, I believe. I just go ahead and dust this all over my cheeks. And right above that blush, I'm going to pop on this Wet n Wild Illuminating um, Palette. It's a highlighter and it's in the color Catwalk Pink. I love this highlighter. It's super cheap and super affordable and it has great pigment payoff. And now I'm going to pop on some lips. This is the Maybelline Elixir. Please forgive me, I have lost this lipstick in between filming this and editing it, so I'm not too sure what the color was called. But this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it and please subscribe if you did. Like, comment, and share this video. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Thank you guys. Love y'all.